Welcome back to 100 Lies the God Culture teaches about the Philippines. Today's lie concerns Timothy J. Schwab's claim that the city of Manila is shown on the 1490 to Martin Bahaim Globe. It is a very stupid and obvious lie but let's take a look at what he says. Here is Christ or crisis identified even by shape and location as Luzon Island, Philippines. The main or large island, Manila is there, the capital uh, city, and Maniola written in on this map, even, really is referring to Manila. Maniola. Now this is one, scholars go by, oh no, it was here, no, it was there. It was, it was, no, here it is on the map, it's right there. Okay, Maniola is Manila. Duh, I mean, it's not even hard to see by the name, but it's on the map. It's, it's in the paragraph there. Uh, it's written in German, of course, uh, so you probably won't be able to read it. But I guess, uh, you know, it speaks of the magnetic shoals where many shipwrecks occurred just off the coast of what? Maniola. Manila. Duh. I mean, for any scholar to suggest Maniola is anything else uh, <laughs> but Manila requires willing ignorance. Here it is on the map right there. Again... Uh, that be the Philippines. Here's another mapping of Ptolemy from the 1400s showing Maniola near India, which is wrong. Remember, Ptolemy uh, actually wrote these directions in the second century. So all these mappings, they may progress in date, but that doesn't mean they progress in mindset. In fact, they're using Ptolemy to take everything back to before the time of the Portuguese and the Spanish. This is what the British do. We're going to expose that at the end of this video. Now that is mapped by the 1492 globe. Okay, very well. Uh, Maniola is in the Philippines. Uh, here it's near India, and that's wrong. The obvious reference to Manila, of course, is so glaring, yet much of academia says, nuh-uh. Yeah, I mean, even in the early 1900s, they were already starting that control line, and it's stupid. Problem. Uh-huh. You see, it's fact. <laughs> and again, the 1492 globe proves it. Columbus and Magellan both knew this. There's Maniola, or Manila, referenced where ships uh, wreck. Uh, referring to the shoals, uh, it calls them magnetic isles, but it means that the ships are drawn to them and shipwrecked there. That's what it, that's what it is. Uh, and it's on the way to Manila, so Maniola, Manila, is appropriate in name. What a crock. This assertion that Manila is referenced on both Ptolemy's map and a globe from 1492 long before the Spanish colonized the Philippines shows how absolutely ignorant Tim is. It was not until the 24th of June. 1571 that the Spanish declared Manila to be part of New Spain. Yes, there is text on the map referring to Maniel but that is a reference to 10 magnetic islands first described by Ptolemy. Did Tim even think to translate or to find a translation of the German? What a lazy blockhead. Once again he shows his poor research skills and proves that the god culture is not a team but is a one man show. Here is the full citation from Ptolemy. There are said to be other islands here adjoining, then in number, called Manoli, from which they say that boats, in which there are nails, are kept away, lest at any time the magnetic stone which is found near these islands should draw them to destruction. For this reason they say that these boats are drawn up on the shore and that they are strengthened with beams of wood. They also say that these islands are occupied by cannibals called Manoli. There are means of approach from these islands to the mainland. Ptolemy says the cannibals occupying the Manili Islands are called Manali. Imagine that. The islands are named after the cannibals who inhabit them and not because the city of Manila is there. There is nothing on either the Bahame 1492 globe or Ptolemy's 2nd century map referring to Manila or the Philippines. For Tim to say otherwise is willing ignorance. He knows the references to magnetic islands yet he is intentionally lying to his audience that this is a reference to the city of Manila because Manili and Manila look and sound similar. That is terrible linguistics. He is wrong. 
his utterly false and ignorant interpretation of this map underscores the fact that he is constantly twisting information to fit his paradigm. It is far worse than Tim not knowing what he is talking about. He is not merely an ignoramus. Timothy J. Schwab is intentionally lying to his audience and they are too enamored with his praise of the Philippines as the most important land on earth to actually check and see if what Tim is saying is true.